<laughs> Alright, take one. So, side note, <laughs> my clapper is broken, so I'm going to have to do this manually now. But <laughs> So, um, today I want to talk about something uh, that I've been wanting to talk about for a really long time. And uh, that topic is uh, what I think is one of the biggest hindrances that I have in terms of being creative. But before I get to that, let me tell you a story. Whenever someone asks me if I make YouTube videos, um, someone like like anyone that's not like a really, really close friend, um, I'll tell them, hey. I'll like reluctantly say yes. I mean, I, I don't like to admit that I do. For some reason, I don't know. Well, actually, I do know, and we'll get to that. But <laughs> um, this, uh, rejection of what I do um, kind of came to like a peak when uh, when I made the uh, shoes off video uh, which is an Asian parody of mask off I'll I'll leave the link somewhere so yeah I, uh, when I made mask off, uh, shoes off you know I thought it was I thought it was pretty funny um, like I spent like all night uh, writing the lyrics and then uh, spent like 20 minutes in GarageBand trying to make like a fake trap beat. I mean, I shot it in one day. It was fun. It was a good time. Uh, I got to hang out with some of my friends, and uh, I just wanted to make a music video because I thought it'd be fun. Fast forward a little bit. Um, so my parents, or specifically my mom, uh, likes to share my videos, which makes me I don't know, eh, kind of makes me uncomfortable because uh, um, I don't know there. There's a particular, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'd say, like persona uh, around my mom's employees um, that isn't always necessarily like reflective of who I am, like deep down inside. Because I wouldn't just, I'm not the type of person to just like wear my heart on my sleeve, right? So, um, or on my sleeve. Um, but yeah, so uh, my mom was share, sh uh, shared that video because she liked it. Um, so I guess I can't really fault her for that. But anyways, she had a work party, and then all these people were like asking me, "Oh, haha, -ha, Mikey, your video was so funny, haha. -ha, when are you gonna give a live performance?" I was like, "Ha, -ha no." <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyways, yeah. For some reason, like, I I couldn't take these compliments. Um, I don't know. I think it was a mix of me feeling as if they're kind of like forced and ingenuine. Uh, or I'm, I mean, okay. I think that's just my interpretation of it. I'm sure that there is like good intention behind the compliments, but to me, I I I kind of felt that they were like not like completely genuine. So I think that has to deal with the main topic that I wanted to talk about today which is perfectionism because you know I can I can really take the compliments that these people were giving me just because I felt like okay why are they complimenting me for garbage it must be some kind of you know disingenuine kind of like fake thing but yeah it it's hard um, trying to make something that's perfect because I feel like inherently or well, maybe not inherently but I feel like something that's so sub subjective like in like you know the cinematic art form it's 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 hard to make perfect like you can do a math problem perfectly like 2 plus 2 equals 4 like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. It's very black and white. But whereas with this, it's it's you know that gradient, uh, you know, different shades of gray, if you will. La, la, la. Uh, oh, can you be quiet, please? But yeah, um, when I like to brainstorm ideas for videos. Oh my goodness, can you please be quiet? Yeah, anyway, so when I like to brainstorm ideas for videos, 
you know, I do leave it all on the page and I just kind of purge my brain of ideas. When I look, uh, look them over again uh, later, uh, later that night, um, I just kind of, I, I kind of immediately berate it. I was like, oh yeah, this idea is stupid. It's like, oh yeah, it's not, you know, insightful enough or it's not like funny enough or whatever. Um, but, airplane. And that's, you know, the perfectionist in me kicking in. And so that perfectionist looking for that perfect idea is, you know, kind of killing off all those other uh, possible ideas and possible, you know, creations that I could have had, you know, had I just, you know, followed through with that instead of, you know, just completely dismissing it. I guess um, what I'm trying to say is uh, I'm trying to get better at not, or, or I'm trying to get better at, you know, not being such a perfectionist, not scrutinizing myself to every T. And of course, like there, you want to have some level of scrutiny. You don't want your self-criticism to come to the point where it's um, detrimental to your to yourself. So I think I'm gonna, oh, uh, I have to, in order to create, oh my god. In order to, to in order to create, um, uh, the stuff that I want, uh, I'm gonna have to, you know, have some misses here and there, um, just because that's that's the nature that's the nature of creating. So, are my videos gonna be perfect? No, I don't think anyone's really expecting them to be perfect, other than myself. So, yeah, basically, the moral of the story is: well, if you make something and you mess up, oh well, it happens. Uh, but that's just kind of the nature of the business. So, and you know, you can always learn from that. Yeah, with this weekly video thing, I'm definitely gonna have some misses. <laughs> uh, it's just bound to happen. I mean, in there, hopefully there'll be some nugget of gold. I don't know. <laughs> oh, we'll see. That's it for today. Um, you know, if you have any other insight that you you would like to add leave it in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram at Mikey Chun underscore or at Mikey Chun underscore. That's pretty much it for now. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.